So most people will get stuck at the same point on the strict ring muscle up. So the transition point where the elbow and the forearm are parallel with the floor. So we just can't get over that top to get into the bottom of the dip and push back out again. So remember with the muscle up, we have three components. We have the chin up where we pull in a false grip all the way to our hand touches our chest. Then that starts the transition until we can transition all the way into the bottom of the dip and then we can push back out. So prerequisite is what we need is strong dips and strong chin ups, ideally in a false grip on the rings. We also need an understanding of that transition and practice the path of the movement. But it's very common people get stuck on that point where the forearm is parallel with the floor and they can't quite get over that ridge into the bottom of the dip. How do we spend more time there? How do we condition and make people strong there to unlock the full movement? And that's where the Russian dip can come in. Now the Russian dip is exactly the same as your normal dip, so you go all the way down to the bottom, but then at the bottom you're going to slowly take the elbows back towards the bar and then back up again and push back out. Now when you're taking the elbows towards the bar, we want to try and keep the torso and the legs as close to the hands as possible. So it's a slow controlled movement and it's not like a kipping jerky movement forwards and backwards. We want to have that slow controlled transition that we can change direction at any point. Now most people when they first try this exercise they're going to fall or they're going to only have a small range where they have control. So what we can do is we can put a target for the elbow so you don't quite go all the way down and then you can slowly decrease the height of the target as you get stronger and stronger with the movement until you can slowly lower all the way down to your elbows touch the bar and come back up again. Now we can increase the time under tension here by doing more repetitions or slowing the movement down. Once we've built the strength on the P-bars, then we can take it over to the rings and do exactly the same thing. So this is often referred to as a yo-yo type movement or just a Russian dip on the rings. So same thing where we do the eccentric, so you come down an eccentric dip, go as deep as possible, and then you slowly take the elbows down towards that 90 degrees position or parallel position with the forearms to the floor and then slowly back up again. And again, you might need to go partial range to start with, so not all the way down. And then ideally, you'll even go a little bit below the point and back up again. So when you do it from the bottom up, they, those two points meet each other and you can unlock the full movement. Now, if you don't have P-bars, you can do a similar thing on boxes. You can do push-ups. Now, the push-ups are normally called Tiger Bend push-ups. Uh, you can do handstand push-ups like this as well, but ideally for the ring muscle up, we want to go down the route of using the P-bars because they're very similar to the rings. Now, if you already have a ring muscle up, I would still play with this movement. If it feels weak, there's definitely room for improving the muscle up that you have. You could get strict reps and you can get more repetitions by making the transition much stronger. So let me know in the comments if this helped you with your muscle up, if you have any questions, or if you have any suggestions for any future videos. If you'd like to support the channel, there's a buy me a coffee link in the description. Thumbs up and subscribe will be appreciated, and I'll speak to you next time. Thanks guys.